Jim, let's talk about what's happening here today, where it started, and where we're hoping we can reach some resolution. The federal guidelines require that this school district come up with a plan to improve in the high school in Central Falls because of the test scores. We agree that there's always room for improvement and we're looking forward to working with the administration to come look at programs and if it's necessary to change our contract, accommodate the contract so that we can get the good programs in place. Unfortunately, this superintendent decided that she didn't want us to talk about programs. She just wanted to come up with a list of her demands simply on the issues of time and money, tell us to take it or leave it. And if we didn't take it, that she was gonna terminate every single high school teacher. It's an outrage that they're using the firing of 88 high school teachers as a bargaining ploy to get some changes. And also, it's also outrageous that they don't want us to have a look at what the programs are to bring into this place because our teachers care about programs. They wanna see improvement. appreciate your overwhelming support during this most difficult time for our teachers. We stand together united in our fight to protect our members and the right to collective bargaining. Yeah. Yeah. The Central Falls Teachers Union has always said yes to bargaining in good faith. Yeah. Superintendent Gallo will be recommending to the Board of Trustees this evening that all 88 teachers at Central Falls High School be terminated. This is a clear violation of our collective bargaining agreement, state and federal law but also the Commissioner's Office and the Board of Regents approved only a year and a half ago. Shame on me! This is outrageous, unfair, and a clear and deliberate attack on unions and collective bargaining. We say, support the students and teachers of Central Falls. are saying we need to do what we need to do what we think is best for the students to them firing all the teachers is what's best for us the people that I know the students in my school d totally disagree with Gallo and Gist and think that our teachers should stay my name is Kellen Salazar I'm 17 and a junior at CF High I want to start off with a quote that says, the mediocre teacher tells, the good, the good teacher explains, the superior teacher demonstrates, and the great teacher inspires. Yeah. Yeah. That is what every single teacher in Central Falls High School is to me. They are great, amazing teachers that inspire me and others to be better people and be better students as well. They've told me so much that terminating them is an injustice. I'm sure that if Dr. Gallo and Commissioner Gist taught at Central Falls High School for a year, they would have quit already. <laughs> My name is Don Blaze, and I am a proud faculty member at Central Falls High School. I am reading this letter on behalf of Maria Salazar. I have encouraged my daughters to speak up for their teachers and speak up for what they believe in, for they are the ones who attend Central Falls High School. I as well share their opinion and believe that this is an unfair act. My daughters came to the, to the United States not knowing very much and not speaking English or knowing any history. Today they stand tall, speak fluent English, and have excellent honor roll grade. I have met their teachers, and I assure you they're excellent at what they do. I support them. 
Maria S. Salazar. Thank you. Aren't you proud to be a union member tonight? On behalf of the Rhode Island AFL-CIO in Working Rhode Island, we are here to pledge our full support to our brothers and sisters in the Central Falls Teachers Union. We have the tale of Central Falls that is going forward with a plan tonight in this very building that is immoral, illegal, unjust, irresponsible, disgraceful. That's the group that should be looking for other work, not the teachers. We're gonna fight this battle till the very end, and we will win. Thank you. Superintendent Gallus, it is about history. It is about the closeness of so many in this community in wanting to move education forward. Education is not easy. It is not those for a quick fix or those who want to do away with collective bargaining. Can you imagine some school committees in charge of class size, what they would do? And it is not about firing people because that may be popular with some. Education takes a lifelong commitment in staying power and that's what the teachers of Central Falls have. On behalf of the 12,000 members of NEA Rhode Island and the 3.2 million members of NEA, we stand united for quality education for every child, a lifelong commitment to the profession, and we are here with you until the end, teachers, parents, and students together. I said it before, give us the resources, put us in charge, Put those who are tied to the community for the long haul and bring everyone together and we'll create the model urban school district for the nation. Stay united, stay firm, and believe me, we are right and we will be successful. Yeah.